Hello everyone, welcome to Bible Studies for Life Sunday School Lesson, uh, January uh, the 18th, I think, um, 17th, yeah. Um, thank you for joining in, we do uh, love you and appreciate you, and we are so thankful for you. And may God bless you and, and take care of you and provide for you and continue to keep you safe and healthy. We are praying for you. If we can do anything else, please let us know. Um, love to uh, to serve you or help you in any way that we possibly can. But we are praying for you. Uh, may God uh, comfort you and encourage you and do His uh, amazing work in your life and through your life. And um, again, thank you for uh, tuning in. Uh, we do appreciate uh, you being willing to tune in each week. And I do pray that. Uh, these lessons are, are very helpful and encouraging uh, to you. Um, <clears throat> uh, I hope it strengthens your walk with God. I hope it uh, helps you as you uh, go to work every day or go to school every day or, or um, do other things each day. I, I do pray that these lessons are very uh, helpful uh, to you. Uh, but may God use it to uh, minister to you uh, at this particular time. <clears throat> Well, we do appreciate you so much, and we are praying for you. Uh, back in 2002, I believe, <clears throat> uh, there's this book that came out written by Rick Warren, uh, who is a pastor at uh, Saddleback uh, Church in uh, California. And uh, he wrote this book entitled Purpose Driven Life. And uh, it's a very, uh, very good book, a very uh, helpful book. Um, it uh, helps you uh, think through a lot of things and work through a lot of things and helps you through life and so um, it's a very uh, encouraging book to read and uh, there's uh, I believe the opening statement or one of the opening questions in the book is um, what am I here for and sometimes um, we ourselves or, or other people uh, around us uh, may ask that question uh, every so often. Why, why am I here? Why am I on this earth? Uh, what is my purpose? And, and it's very encouraging to know that, that we are here for a purpose, that, that God created us, um, that uh, God formed us, that God made us, that um, we are no accident, we are no mistake, that God created us. And, and so he created us with a, a purpose in mind, with a, a plan in mind. And, and so it's really neat that, uh, that we are, are known by God, that we are loved by God, that we are created by God, and that uh, our life is, um, again, is no accident or no waste. God has a, a purpose uh, for each and every one of our lives. And, and so he, uh, God gives us meaning. God gives us purpose. Uh, God gives us joy as we uh, go through this life. It's, it's not just about <clears throat> making it through the day. It's not just about making it through the year. Um, it's not just uh, possibly going through the, the daily routine. There's something uh, bigger, um, and God gives us that, that meaning for each day. God gives us that, that purpose in life. And so I, I hope and pray that as you live each day, as you do what you do each day, no matter what season of life that you're in, that you uh, know at all times, that God reminds you at all times that you are created by God and that you are created with a, a purpose that God has in mind for you. And so, um, again, we, we may go to school each day, we may go to work each day, we may uh, go to the grocery store, we may uh, go out to eat, uh, we may um, hang around friends, uh, we may... Um, uh, just be at the house, you know, whatever the case may be, where we are, whatever we may be doing, God gives us purpose. 
And so, I, again, I hope that, that he con constantly reminds you of that, that you are created uh, with a purpose in mind, with a plan in mind. And, and so this, is, this purpose is from God. This, this purpose, this plan is from, um, from God who is all-knowing, who is all-powerful, who uh, has all wisdom, who knows us better than we know ourselves, who knows all about us. And so, again, God has a, a purpose for you. And I hope that you know that, that you are valuable, that you are very important for many reasons many many reasons but uh, two of those reasons is that God created you and you are valuable because God has a purpose for your life and so I hope that as you maybe look in the mirror each day as you go about your life each day that you you know that that you are very valuable not in a, um, a, a arrogant way but in a, a humble way realizing that that we are valuable to God because he created us, because he died for us, because he loves us, and because he created us with, with purpose. And so again, I hope that you know that, that God has created you with, with purpose. And so in, in Jeremiah chapter 1, he, he lets Jeremiah know this. He lets Jeremiah know that he is uh, important to God and his plan, that he is, is valuable to God and his kingdom that he has a purpose, that God has this purpose for him. And, uh, and so we read in Jeremiah chapter 1, <coughs> excuse me, verses 4 and 5 says, The word of the Lord came to me. I chose you before I formed you in the womb. I set you apart before you were born. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. And so again, this is very uh, encouraging words that we read uh, from Jeremiah uh, that, that God let Jeremiah know, uh, Jeremiah I chose you, not only did I, did I choose you but I chose you before I formed you in the womb uh, again this is so um, awesome to read that, that God chose Jeremiah, that God chose Jeremiah before he formed Jeremiah in the womb and so uh, this scripture lets us know that all life is created by God, that God formed all life, that, that God uh, miraculously formed each and every one of us, and that he created each and every one of us. It tells us in, in Psalm 139, 14, I believe, for you are fearfully and wonderfully made, that you are unique, that you are special, uh, that God has done a wonderful, uh, amazing, uh, fabulous job creating you. Uh, and, and he chose to create you. Um, he didn't have to create any of us. Uh, because since God is all-knowing, um, you know, God knew that we would become sinners but he was still willing to create us knowing that so that he could have a relationship with us, so that he could uh, perform his purpose and plan through us. And so he was willing to, uh, to create us. He was willing to form us. He was willing to um, choose us. And, and again, it, it's amazing how he didn't, uh, he created each of us different. Uh, you know, he, uh, we, uh, look different unless we have a twin. We um, maybe have different talents and abilities and skills. Um, it's, it's just amazing how God has uh, specifically created each of us, how God has uh, created each of us in a special way, in a different way. And, and he didn't just uh, uh, do a, a lump, everybody lumped together and everybody looks the same and everybody is the same, but he created each of us in a wonderful uh, way. And so you are valuable to God. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, and he loves you uh, so much. And so, um, you know, he let Jeremiah know that, that Jeremiah chose you before I formed you in the womb. 
I, I set you apart before you were born. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. And so again, he let Jeremiah know, Jeremiah, you are important to me, and I have a special plan for you, and I, I want you to, to do this. <clears throat> and so, uh, God, this uh, ver these two verses show us that God exists outside of time. Uh, <clears throat> God is is what wasn't created. God has always been here. God will always be here. And so, <clears throat> uh, He is bigger than we are. He is uh, uh, bigger than we can imagine. Um, and so, uh, God is not uh, limited uh, to time or space. God is not put in this little box. Uh, God is all-powerful, all-knowing, and, and He can do anything uh, that, that honors him. He uh, can do uh, anything as, uh, as long as it's um, something that, that's in his will that he will be glorified for. And so uh, <clears throat> nothing limits God. Uh, also, number two, God values life. Again, God values your life. Uh, God cares about you and your life. Uh, God is interested in you and your life. And so God values your life. God values everybody's life. And so, uh, you know, he, he lets us know that we are very valuable to him. And because we are very valuable to him, everybody else that he has created is very valuable to him. And so it's very important for us as we go through life to remember that, that that uh, every person around us is extremely valuable to God, just like we are. And so it's important for us to treat people with the same value that God does, the same respect that God does. And so uh, we are to, as God's children, be like Him. And as we are like Him, it's important for us to uh, let everyone know that we come in contact with that they are, are valuable to God, to treat them with, with kindness, to treat them with respect, to treat them the way that God treats us. Uh, and so, uh, you know, it's important for us to do that because when we treat people with respect and value, uh, it lets them know, um, maybe it helps them understand that God loves them, that God gives them hope and, and a, a purpose in life. And so hopefully as we realize that we're valuable to God and that he gives us purpose, that we let other people know um, that we come in contact with, that God does offer hope, that God does offer a purpose. And, you know, it seems like especially in this day and time that we live in, it's important for us to to relate that message to people that, that they are valuable to God and that I'm going to, because they're valuable to God, they're going to be valuable to me because I want to be like God and I want to treat other people like God treats me. And again, that's with, with value. Doesn't matter what uh, age, what their background is, uh, what they're like, uh, if we're like them or we're not like them, it's very important to uh, to keep in mind that we are valuable to God and that other people around us are valuable to God. And it's important for us to treat people like that. <clears throat> um, so God values life. And, and, and God uh, has, has formed us. And, and God has given us purpose. Just like he's given uh, Jeremiah purpose, just like he has a calling on Jeremiah he gives us purpose and wants to, to use us uh, to do great things for him, to help further his kingdom. And, and so it's, it's really neat that, that uh, you know, God um, wants to use Jeremiah and, and God wants to use us. And so again, we are created with purpose by God. And Jeremiah 1, 6 through 8 <clears throat> says this, but I protested, this is Jeremiah speaking, Oh no, Lord God, look, I don't know how to speak since I am only a youth. 
Then the Lord said to me, Do not say, I am only a youth, for you will go to everyone I send you to and speak whatever I tell you. Do not be afraid of anyone, for I will be with you to rescue you. This is the Lord's declaration. And so, again, we can learn a lot from, from the Bible in general. We can learn a lot from this passage of Scripture. Again, God has created us. God has formed us. God has chosen us. God has called us. And so uh, he let Jeremiah know, Jeremiah, I chose you. I formed you. Uh, and I want to use you. I want to send you to the nations uh, to um, let them know that, that uh, of my salvation, to let them know the good news, to encourage them to follow me, to not rebel against me, but to follow me. And so, um, you know, as, as Moses did when God came to him in the burning bush, um, Jeremiah kind of came up with some excuses. And the uh, first excuse was that the excuse of deficiency. Um, you know, Jeremiah thought, you know, the Lord couldn't, couldn't use him because of, of maybe the different weaknesses that he had. And, and so, uh, again, Jeremiah was kind of using this as an excuse. Now, it is important to keep in mind uh, to, to remain humble because um, God uses a person who humbles himself. And so we, it is important to stay humble before God. It is important to realize we can't do anything without God. It is important to realize that God is God and I'm not. It's, it is important to realize that um, God equips me and, and I must rely on Him and His power and His strength and His help and have confidence in Him and not myself. So it's important to remain humble. But it's important also not to use uh, any weakness that we have uh, as an excuse of God not to, to use us. Again, God desires to, to use us in a powerful way for Him. God desires to use us to help encourage people. God desires to use us to help people come to know Christ as their Lord and Savior. God wants to use us to help people be in uh, the kingdom of heaven one day. And so God desires to use us and, and yes, we must be plugged into the, the vine. Uh, we must be plugged into God. He is the one that we count on and depend on and rely on. We can't rely on our own strength and our own effort. Uh, we must depend on God and, and remain humble. But we must not use uh, any weakness that we may have as, in a, as an excuse. We must allow God to, uh, since he formed us, since he created us, since he knows all about us, to just give God uh, the, um, the freedom uh, to use us as he wishes. Again, we don't have to look at our, our weakness. We can look at the power of God and realize God wants to use us and just allow him to use us. The second excuse that Jeremiah used was the excuse of age and, and, and inexperience. Uh, and so again, he thought, uh, you know, God, I'm, I'm just a youth. I'm too young for, um, for you to use. And many scholars uh, believe that, uh, uh, thought that he was too young for God to use. Uh, many scholars believe that Jeremiah was a teenager at this time. Uh, but God reminded him, uh, Jeremiah, I formed you. I chose you. I created you. I am all powerful. I am all knowing. I love you unconditionally. I want the best for you. You have been created by me with a purpose in mind. And I want to call you to go to the nations uh, to encourage them to have a relationship with me, to encourage them to follow me, to encourage them to be obedient to me. And so, again, uh, Jeremiah was using this as an excuse. Again, it's important for us to remain humble but it's also important uh, for us to realize if, if God is calling us to do something, he can help us uh, carry through with it. And so it's important for us to realize you and I are created with a purpose by God, that God has a special plan and purpose for us, that uh, you know, he's called us on a, a special mission with him. He wants us to be involved in his work. And so again, 
as you go through each day of your life, as you uh, go to school, as you go to work, as you uh, go to the store, as you do other things throughout the day, it's very important to remember that we are created with a purpose, that we are to share the good news of Christ, that we are to share the hope to others that Jesus offers, that we are to help others be prepared for uh, spending eternity in heaven with God. And so, again, we are very valuable to God. We are his hands, we are his feet, we are his voice. And so it's very important for us to allow God to use us uh, to help introduce people to Christ and have an abundant life through Christ. And so it doesn't matter what age we are, uh, God desires to use us, wants to use us, He can use us. And so it's important for us to rely and depend on Him, uh, knowing that He formed us, and He's made our mouth, and He can use us to do great things for Him. And so let me ask you this question as, as uh, I've been pondering this same question. Uh, are there any excuses we use for not doing what God commands us to do? I know that I, I do quite a bit. Uh, I may do like uh, Jeremiah and, and uh, you know, just not think that um, God might not know what he's talking about. Uh, or I might use the excuse of, of you know, not knowing uh, everything to say but again God is always with us once again as I've repeated myself over and over God has created us uh, God has formed us and God has created us with a purpose uh, to bring honor and glory to him and he can help us uh, do that and so um, we don't have to be scared we don't have to uh, give excuses we can remain humble and realize God has created us with a purpose and a plan. And he loves each and every one of us. And we are very valuable to him and to his work. And it's important for us just to rely on him and allow him to, to use us as he wishes. To use us to, to speak uh, for him. It says, being used by God knows no age restriction. The way of a disciple is to listen to the voice of God and step into his mission, regardless of age or experience. The God who knows us and forms us will be with us as we live out his purpose for our lives. And so again, that is so encouraging to know that, that God is always with us and he will help us live out our purpose for him if we allow him to do that. And then the last verse of scripture, Jeremiah 1, 9 through 10 says this, then the Lord reached out his hand, touched my mouth, and told me, I have now filled your mouth with my words. See, I have appointed you today over nations and kingdoms to uproot, to uproot and tear down, to destroy and demolish, to build and plant. So Jeremiah had received a clear and unmistakable mission of God to preach judgment and salvation to God's people. Notice the two things God said in his call to Jeremiah. Number one, I have filled you. To be filled is to be empowered by God. And so again, God fills us with his power. Uh, God fills us with the Holy Spirit. God is always with us. He will live through us if we allow him to. He will speak through us if we allow him to. Uh, he will do great things through us if we allow him to. And so we are empowered by the Holy Spirit of God. And so because of that, we can carry out the purpose. And so as we have been called to our own roles in life, we preach Christ. We let people know how much God loves them and how they have been created with a purpose. And, and God can use us to help people know that they have been created with a purpose. And so you are very valuable to God. You're very valuable uh, <clears throat> for God to use to help uh, increase his kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. And so I hope that you know all the time, every day, all throughout the day, that you are very valuable to God, that God has a purpose for you, that God has a plan for you, that God has formed you, that God has created you, that God knew you before he formed you and knew that you 
We're going to be created with a purpose. And so as you go about your day, as God has called you to be where you are, uh, as God has called you to uh, have the career that you have, as God has called you to have the family that you have, as you have the friends that, that God has blessed you with, preach Christ. Uh, be the, the light of Christ. Uh, be the hope of Christ. Share with people the, the grace uh, that Jesus Christ offers. And so again, you are very valuable to God. Uh, you have been created with a purpose. And, uh, and it's, it's so encouraging to know that, that God has formed us and created us. And we are to bring honor and glory to God. And so I hope that as we go about our life that we fulfill that purpose. That we honor and glorify God. And that we help other people experience the hope and the forgiveness and the grace and the salvation of God. You have been created with a purpose. And you are very valuable and important to God. And just as he chose Jeremiah, just as he formed Jeremiah, he chose and formed you. And may God use us to glorify him and to let other people know. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we do love you and appreciate you. And we're so thankful uh, for you. Uh, we are praying for you. And please let us know if we can do anything else. May God bless you. Let's pray.